With eye operations, people can see. With limb operations and fitting, they can walk. With aids, they are able to hear. But with cleft operations, the children can rightfully take their place in society. Sometimes when the world's not on your side You don't know where to run to You don't know where to hide You gaze at the stars in the sky At the mountains so high Through the tears in your eyes For reason to replace what is gone, just remember. We're talking about what Midland International Aid Trust does, and today let's talk about emergency care and delivery. How do you get involved in that? If you can look after a child or an adult in what we call the first golden minutes, particularly when a child is ill it's very, very important to get your training sorted out so that you will look after children. I mean, in places like our hospital or in the UK, all of the doctors are trained in paediatric immediate life support, or if you're adult, you get adult life support, or if you are in trauma, you get trauma life support. So all these are mandatory. And because it's mandatory for us, even I, at my age, have got to go and train myself to be proficient in, in these sort of, um, in these sort of um, acute care of sick children and patients. Now, because a lot of us have, has got, have got that sort of experience, uh, my plea has been, and some people come and help us with this, uh, particularly abroad, is for these people to join us and come and help to look after and train the personnel abroad. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Now, the doctors and nurses abroad are not like nurses and doctors in this country. The training is very, very basic. The other problem you have, doesn't matter where you are, it could be in Malawi. For example, I've given lectures in Malawi. You have to know the local language. As it happens, I can speak the Malawian language, so it's not a big problem. But if people go from here abroad to teach, it's not that easy. Although they might want to teach, it becomes a bit more difficult because what you have taught might not have got through to the person mm -hmm. that is learning. So those are those constraints we need to look at as well. Good, excellent. You see? Can you see these are moving now? The year move, Ogi. Fine. The video that we've just watched is you giving um, some teaching or sure. extra teaching to sure. a group of professionals in Pakistan. And there's that section when one of the male doctors is trying to take the oxygen off, but yes. um, he's really forcing it off. Sure, sure. You know, there's subtle things like care and compassion when treating patients, Absolutely. which sometimes you can't teach that are Absolutely. innate in people. Mm. Would you say that's a problem we have here within the NHS and the doctors and nurses we have here? I think looking after babies, doesn't matter whether it's abroad or here, the principles are still the same. And the more experienced you become, you come to know what not to do. And the example that you gave was not to put the connection onto the mask, while it's on the baby's face because you'll damage the face. So those sort of things are what not to do. We are all trained to, to look after newborn babies. And if we can provide that sort of simple emergency care abroad, because you've got one million babies dying per year, soon after birth, and every four minutes a baby dies around the world for no good reason. It could be needed immunization, could be that wasn't looked after well at birth. But these are issues that we can do something about. It doesn't need big high-tech uh, material to either send or bring. It's basic knowledge that is transferred in a simplistic sort of way to people. And there are Royal Colleges of Pediatrics, 
and general college of physicians who are making simple programs for developing for the developing world where they can use these to to very easily um, educate the local people what are you looking for from the people within the west midlands basically i need midwives and doctors and nurses even who are proficient at resuscitation of the newborn baby looking after the newborn baby i think that time from the time that the baby is just about to be born to the time that baby is actually breathing and is pink that's the important time and i want people to learn to make sure that that actually happens and there are lots of people around who always are willing to do things but when they are offered they usually mm, chicken out so we are there we can as a Mid what midland can do midland international organization can do is to give them bursaries to go from here it won't cost them a penny they are looked after there five star hotel treatment beautiful food and a lot of people that go from here want to go again and again color pink do de diya zero blue theek hai na aur ek jo hai if you're a midwife or a health professional and you'd love to get in touch please look at the details at the bottom of the screen and join us throughout the week when we look at more things that the Midland International Aid Trust does across the world in particular we're looking at Pakistan this week but join us tomorrow when we look at cleft baby care and more good evening <laughs>